Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with Empire this week. Yeah, back again. I got, I don't know. If you're not a fan of <laughs> go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free for right now. Look, I told y'all, y'all gonna get on this subscription. Yesterday, I shut the whole freaking YouTube down for two hours. Go on, pull the plug. Keep playing with me. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I ain't do that. But I heard. I didn't even know. I ain't know it till yeah, the day. Yeah, we ain't even know. Yeah. So, um, we ain't even knew it. <laughs> Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button. At this point, it don't even matter. You've already been counting. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Um, when we first started back doing these reviews, right, we go over and support all the YouTubers, right? And Ashley Miller says she won't do in this skit this year. Yep. And I was right there with her. But I'm taking one for the team for my husband. And Lee Daniels had the nerve to tweet her. After she said she wasn't going to do it, he going to reply to her tweet talking about something. You going to want to do this this season. I've got my hands on it. It's going to be the skit. Where? Yeah. Where? I ain't seen it yet. At this point, Ashley, go over there. Send Lee Daniels an invoice. An mm -hmm. invoice for uploading this skit every week. An invoice exactly. for sitting there having to prepare this skit. Exactly. An invoice. Well, Fox, we don't really have to pay premium for that. But <laughs> go ahead and prorate your god doing um, cable bill and send exactly. that to him too. Because he's lying. Yeah. I ain't seen it yet. Yeah. I need to break next week for the World Series. I'd yeah. rather look at that skit than look at this. And hopefully we'll come back to a good series. <laughs> God don't. Because I, I don't know what the hell is going on. Love all and trust the few was the name of the God no The way I see Empire Come Rick. Because you got oh, something going in your eye. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. She look out for me. Yeah. The way I see, if anybody on here know how they build a bridge, you know they started this end and they started the other end, they meet in the middle. That's how Empire is. It started from the beginning. It's at the end. We just need them to meet in the middle and let us know what the hell is going on with the person in the cask got on it. Yeah. I, I'm done. We, I, I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. Just hit your three points like you do when, when people preach and yeah, get, preach get us with a closing so we can go on. Well, Andre is out of jail, y'all. Big ups to <laughs> Andre for being free. Yes, sir. He free. He coming up with a big smile on his face. Got his little bush packed down real nice. He ready to go out in the streets and tear up some skit. So, and that he did. And that he did. <laughs> so Lucius, of course, is still broke. So he got to revert back to his old ways. So he ain't delivered no more. So he can't be Dwight no more. He got to be Lucius. So he got to go back to the streets to go get his money. So Andre was like, you need to take me. I got to go. He was like, no, I got this. He's like, Pops, you need backup. I ain't never seen you go on the streets without backup. True? Yeah, very true. But you got to remember, Lucius told Cookie that he wasn't going to let Andre do nothing get to get in back in prison. Because you know once you get out. They want to put you back in for the least little thing that you do. You fought, they put you right back in the behind balls. So Andre decided that he will meet Lucius down at the boxing ring to meet up with the other dude. No, he didn't meet him. He, he was, beat him. Yeah, there. beat him there. He there. <laughs> he over there, his son is chilling. Lucius, chilling. Lulu looking like, hey, this some scared. <laughs> like, what is you doing here? So Lucius go to ask the dude for the money. He was like, you know, times are tight. You know, every time you go ask for black people for your for your money. Times is tight. You know how it is. I can work on it or I can put something yeah, on it. Yeah, I know how it is because I'm broke because you ain't paid me. <laughs> That's how it is. So when they got outside, Andre was like, you done fucked up. Now he going to go tell everybody in the streets that owe you money that the old, the, the Lucius that were for is soft. And you broke. And you broke. So ain't nobody gonna take you serious right now, Pops. He said, Pops, if I had did that in the joint, I'd be dead right now. <laughs> Lucia said, hold on, hold on. So they took your last name and gave you a number. Now all of a sudden you don't change your identity. You think this is the way that we supposed to handle business? Andre, I'm the one who made you. I gave you the fire. fire. <laughs> and Andre's like, And Andre ready to release that fire. He said, you need to take me with you so I can... But Andre had a good point. Andre had did his research on that man that freaking quick to even know that he had a couple of fighters that mm -hmm. was bringing in some good revenue. So it's no excuse that well, you didn't have the money to pay my dad. Yeah. And if he had kept letting, letting um, Andre talk, Andre would have walked out there with that with money. With that money. Yep. Because he told me also, well, Lucy, I know how it is because you got a few good fighters to offset your losses from the ones that ain't good. That's how he let him get away. Mm. 
Andre ain't about it. Andre ain't about that bullshit. So we see they start traveling around again and go see this other dude. And this other dude was saying, you know, you know what? Time before when the old Lucius walking here, I'd be so scared shaking in my boots. But this Lucius right here, you broke. You broke. <laughs> you, you ain't soft. you ain't getting a dime from me. And then Andre the clicked Andre off. click right off. <laughs> Andre said. Reese, Reese and pu pulled out that gun and shot him in the leg without hesitation. Give us the money. Lulu said, <laughs> I got a killer on my hands. Yeah. And because Andre stepped to the plate, like I told y'all last week, Andre is going to be the one that's going to overstep God doing Lucius. Lucius going to have to put him down. He going he gonna to have to do something. It got him $2,000, though. It did. Got him two grand. Because he's about ready to walk out there with nothing. Yeah, so God darn Andre. Say God darn Andre. So we still got Cookie running all around town. Got Portia and her goons up in the house. <laughs> trying to get this stuff together. Trying to find a next person that's going to be the hit for Empire. So they trying to find another Lucius. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they not having success. So Portia shows her this girl. And she was like, that's trash. But she Portia said, was like, God, it be yeah, yeah. Like, oh my God. So Portia was like, but she already got two million followers. Cookie was like, I don't care. We we build people from the ground up. But I'm like, right now, you broke from the ground up. So you need somebody with a little bit yeah. of traction uh, in these streets, man. <laughs> yeah. Use that little fish. Yeah. While you go fishing for the big fish. Because right now, you ain't got nothing. Yeah. You ain't got no sardines or nothing. Exactly. So she peeked this dude. In the background, as a background, she so was like, that's talent. We need to go find go find him, Portia. And you know Portia. She gonna do what she say. So they found this dude, he working at the junkyard. And you say he I, I don't remember seeing him. I don't know who You don't is. know who Mario is? I, Mario. I really, I really don't. Yeah. To be honest. Pray for my husband. But that's okay. I ain't getting paid because I know <laughs> that now. <matters. laughs> so it don't even matter. Like Mike B said, it don't even it matter don't even that matter. I don't know him. So he down in the junkyard working. They thought they had him. They ain't gonna back you out the freaking shadows. And she done went down and offered him a deal too. And I said, y'all don't move real quick right and, here. And talking about it was an algorithm <laughs> that found him for the empire. I said, well, hold on. She but I was like, but he was a kid. Two from, minutes ago. From back, being a background singer. So how do you... I don't know. Might be safe. Just, just like the Google um, freaking algorithm is pissing everybody off. I guess Empire got an algorithm that's pissing everybody off. Well, hell. Too. God doing Facebook, Instagram, and all them know what I be thinking. Yep. I'm going out. I could be thinking about some oodles and news. And this thing I know is a God doing commercial. And I'm so... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying like... I didn't even search for no oodles and oodles. I won't even talk about no oodles and oodles. <laughs> Why is oodles and oodles being advertised to me? Exactly. <laughs> so we saw Devon goes down to, to Empire. They show him the ropes. You know, Empire got all the tech stuff going. Matter of fact, they're going to make him a hit because they already ran the algorithm on all of his fans. They know what they eat, know what they wear, what time they wake up. They want somebody with abs. They know the kind of person that they want to fuck. So we're going to turn you into that person and make you a star overnight. That's what YouTube do, y'all. Yeah. Y'all didn't really know how that works. Exactly. It's all algorithm. Yeah. So whatever you're interested in, that's what it's always going to show you. Mm -hmm. And don't go just out there peeking at weird stuff just mm -hmm. for the moment. Because mm -hmm. weird stuff will start following, following you. <laughs> yep. You'll be you like, do it. what the fuck is this? Because you search for it one time, now the algorithm is saying, oh, she's interested in it. Like, for example, after you finish watching this review and you click on another review, you will get reviews. You're going to continue to show you reviews after reviews after reviews. It's not going to show you that now. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you go over there to the beauty channel, then you ain't going to get nothing but beauty. Exactly. Until you come back over here next week, not next week. Come back tomorrow. So, green leaf. So, Devon was like, So, y'all trying to make me a stripper? That's what I thought about, too. Yeah, he was like, That's not me, you know. I'm good, I'm a good church I'm a going good Christian, yeah. Man. You know, I talk in the choir just this Sunday, so mm -hmm. I can't let my pastor you know, and the first Lord. lady see my ass up on the music video now. <laughs> and so, heck on Giselle, time also Luther Vandross, no, D just Luther, L yeah, Luther, uh, uh. D'Angelo, who else she named off? All the other ones she named off, it don't even matter. In other words, they did it, so now you can do it. Mm -hmm. So he was like, okay, I think I'm a sign. 
But of course, he still had to go talk to Cookie. He promised Cookie he wasn't gonna sign until he talked to Cookie. I meant to Cookie. To Cookie. I said Cookie. <laughs> to Cookie. So he go over there, as we seen, talk to um, Cookie. Cookie was like, where the music coming from? Where the music coming from? They never asked him that. Where the music coming from? And he was like, I just have a gift. I just, he, she was like, Lil's like, no, 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 no. no, It comes uh -uh. from a place. Yeah, it always, your gift always comes from a place. And when he, when she asked him that, I felt like it came from a place of tragedy. Of, a tragedy. Because yeah. most of the time, unfortunately, a lot of our gifts do come from tragedy. You discover stuff that you didn't know you had because you have to end up doing something to comfort yourself. So most of the time your gift comforts you before it comforts somebody else. Come on here and preach that. Oh, uh, that's all, huh? So that drum working for you, it's gonna definitely help the world. Yeah. Yeah. So Lucy, so he didn't really tell her that, but he said the music come from my soul. She was like, yep, that's what you need to sing from. And that's where it comes sister from. Um, inspires home. Yeah, and his sister. And I said, hmm, what's up with this sister thing? Because he never, you know. Yeah, he never dug into it. Usually boys would say, like, my mom, my grandma, yeah. or somebody like that. But what he said, my sister, I said, mm, hmm. So something, what's up with that? something to that. So he like, let me go talk to my sister. So he didn't come back in time. So Cookie decided to go to the sister house. And she opened the door. The sister is walking around with a walker. And that broke my heart. That's it. Because she looked like she was around about our age. And I'm yeah. like, oh, what happened? Yeah, I was like, what happened to her, man? That she had to be on a walker like that at that, such a young age. But you know what the beauty <clears throat> of it is? Her spirit was so full. Exactly. She ain't look like what she going through. But I think that had something to do with her brother. Yeah. As we can find out. Because she told Cookie that um, I was in a bad accident and messed my hip up. And Medicare and, won't pay for that. And the Medicare surgery. won't pay for it. I said, of course, we know all about that. Uh, and yes, both our parents did. died uh, a few, a few years, years ago. ago. I said, there it is right there. And she said, my brother has been working four jobs to four keep jobs. things afloat up. And Cookie's looking at the conditions of the house. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they really going through it right now. Yeah. And I was like, dang. So what you going to do, Cookie? And in my mind, I'm like, <clears throat> okay. Over there with you and Lucius is where he needs to be. Yeah. Because he's going to need somebody to actually look out for him and actually care about him. Yeah. But at the same time, y'all ain't got no money. Yeah. He ain't got no money, you ain't got exactly. no money. How's this going to work? But to go back, you said, even though that condition, both of them had good spirits, man. Oh, yeah. And that's, and that's the kind of people that you want in your life. That once you find out that they going through just as much as you are, hmm, and just as happy as you are, and chipper as you are, you be like, and ain't faking it. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? I ain't got skit to complain about. Mm -mm. Like the songs say, I had some good days, I had some bad days, I had some hills of clouds. Hmm, but all of my good days. But all of my good wait, days, my bad days. And that is so true. And, and I won't complain. And there was a good example of that right there. Now go and put an offering in the offering plate for that right there, man. So. <clears throat> After Cookie said the condition, she was like, you know, Devon's going to be back in a minute. Um, you want to stay away from him? She was like, no. She was like, you want to leave the contract? She was like, uh, no thank you. And I was like, what, 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 what is Cookie doing? What's, what's, I was like, Cause I know her wheels are turning right now. Mm -hmm. I know her. So <clears throat> we seen her invited Becky over and, and told that. Becky. And Becky said, would you call him the glue? She was like, no. She said, I'm going to give him back to y'all. Mm. I need you to get him signed and I need you to promise me that you can get the sign on bonus immediately. Th immediately. And take care of that boy. Now that's that the, broke me down. That broke me down. Yeah. That's the cookie that I like right there. The hardcore cookie. But like she said, at Empire, they always put the artist first. Sometimes. Cause she yes, cause she could have been she could have been selfish and be like, you know what? He broke right now, but we need to get this coming off the ground. Get money. So yeah, we get money together, but she saw their conditions. They need money right now. Right now. Like my family would say. <laughs> so we see that Kai is missing. He done went over to Africa. And now seemed like somebody done snatched him up. And Jamal is worried. Because he don't know, he ain't heard from him. Yeah, and he's feeling guilt because yeah. if anything was happening to him, it's because he took the job that was basically forced down his throat to stay in New York. Yep. <laughs> so, it's a whole lot of skit going on with Jamal right now. And I'm like, yeah. what the hell happened? But I did enjoy getting the backstory of how him and Kai met. Yeah. And um, when he went on that, that, that trip, as Hakeem <laughs> called it, he was getting ready to get drugged at a bar. Mm-hmm. And he actually saved him. Later on down the line, we 
come to find out that Kai wasn't very open to sleeping with Jamal and all this good stuff. We'll come to find out that they're going to play into this goddamn narrative that I'm trying to figure out why are we still in 1996 right now? Mm -hmm. The narrative that at some point the gay man is going to have HIV. And I was so it's, freaking it's, pissed off yeah, it's, yeah, that they it's wrote stupid. that into Kai's script. Yeah, that's dumb. Well, Kai is HIV <laughs> positive, but he's so low on the spectrum that is really undetectable. So mm -hmm. basically, they, they are right. He can't actually pass it along. So, <clears throat> yeah. Now, Kai, now he was going to propose to Kai. I actually thought he was looking for his pills. That's what I did. I thought he was looking for them too. Yeah. And Kai's hot parts don't turn up missing like like the old people say and they don't fan his wallet and his cell phone on side of the road now then here's the narrative that every time you go to africa you get snapped up yep that's a narrative yep that's why they try that's why a whole lot of us don't want to go to africa because they mm. pray them nigerian scammers gonna get us <laughs> that's bad and but, that's bad but we know that's not the truth the it's not because you get it, snatched it, up you, here you get snatched up anywhere yeah, you can get snatched. So it's it's the it's that stereotype that the news and TV and movies and stuff puts on people and have us walking in fear. You know they use fear, y'all, to get into our pockets. Cause majority of the decision, the purchasing decisions that we make and the things that we do in life, majority of them is made from fear mm, or some type of emotion. Yeah, like today you went to work. You said I went to work so I can make money to take care of my family. But the truth, the truth behind it is you went to work cause you. Fear losing your house, your car, your family, all that mm -hmm. stuff. So that was your fear that got you to do it. Because really, truly, you didn't really feel like going to work today. Hey, Matter of fact, you sat in the bed and you contemplated. Be like, you know what? I'm mm -hmm. sick of this bullshit. I'm sick of them people at the job, my boss, all of them. Hey, and then, you know, you know so I'm, Matter of fact, you said, I'm going to quit today. And then fear kicked in. You saw yourself out in the street with no car, no house, no money. You were like, oh, shit. Let me get my A up and go to work. At least I got a job. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I hope that they find Kai, man. I don't think they're gonna find him. Lucha I hope they find him, man. And you know, Lulu got some connects now. Cause I'm like, you know, maybe maybe he was out there walking on the side of the road and his wallet and his cell phone fell out of his pocket, man. Not it's in, a great possibility. Not in 2018. It's it's a good possibility. We Everybody lose their phone and wallet. I'm a prime example of that. But you're not normal. Like most normal people. I'm not normal. No, because you can leave your cell phone behind and it doesn't bother you. Somebody like me, I'm two steps this way and I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. Where's my phone? So yeah. if Kai is like me, if <laughs> something happened to him, if he like you, he 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 might just have dropped it out of his pocket. Yeah, I, he is very, very possible that he that he is like me. Let's just hope he like you. Yeah. If he like me, he, him gone, man. So we see Mr. Wall is back. That Kingsley is still talking to Mr. Wall, and she agreed to help him for some freaking small jar of shea butter because <laughs> it's not called the shea butter. Whatever it is in this small, she said what it was. It don't even matter. Had a whole bunch of but she said I gotta make sure that I will stay beautiful while I'm behind these bars. <laughs> you did that to her. You gave her a complex last week. You said her and Bill won't look too sharp. Yeah, they ain't looking good as a unit right now. So now you got her right here hustling for skincare products. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened to her hand though? She in there cutting people? Probably. You see it? Uh huh. She in there doing something. So, got King has delivered that. Then you got Giselle down there, want to work with her too. And so, that's when she told Giselle that that the uh that the uh lions need to see what it feel like to bury one of their own so i guess maybe that's why we see the casket that we don't know who's in the casket mm -hmm. so I, I don't know who she gonna help is she gonna help kingsley or is she gonna help giselle or maybe she might help them both out to get what she want one of them dead and then we saw a little clip of lucius five months later and i'm like hold on yeah aren't we in the press Said, where are we? Where are we right now? Yeah. And he got blood all over him and he's looking and, like he, he don't, don't know, know where happened. it came from. And is it coming from you or is it coming from somebody that was with you and that the blood is on you? What's going on? But I'm I'm starting to maybe start to agree with y'all said maybe it is Andre because Andre is a loose cannon right now. Yeah. Like I was telling you before we got on the camera, I said we got the NBA Andre, that's smart, school smart. Now we got the Andre. That street smart because he done been in prison on top of him not taking no medicine. What that equals? Crazy. 
<laughs> he just off the chain. But I did appreciate Mario came back, y'all. Yeah, he did. Well, let me stop calling him Mario. Devon. Devon. Devon came back over there to Lucius and Cookie House. But Lulu was pissed off with Cookie because Cookie told him, said, listen, I gave him up to Empire because Empire can take care of him. And he needs to be taken care of right now. He came back over there and he said, I ain't signed with them. Because when I was over here, it felt like family. family. And that's what I need right now. I need to feel like family. And he went on the side with the, with, with old Lulu and them. And Lulu took that wild of money that he got from taking, you mm -hmm. know, Andre guy. The Andre guy. And gave it to him. And he said, go ahead and get your sister's meds and all that good stuff. Yep. I said, God damn. But like I told you, if it wasn't for Andre, he wouldn't have, he no wouldn't have had that money to give to Devon. Look, ain't it, ain't it crazy? They got a little bit of money in their pocket and they're eating good already. Mm -hmm. That's what we do though. Uh huh. So when you get that income tax, yeah, we got what? We'll be in October. Come January, February, you're going to see 30 day tax. Hello. Huh? And my weave sales is going to go through the roof. I ain't yep. mad though. When y'all yep. get y'all income tax, come shop at my hair store, virginhairqueen.com. Don't come put don't put nothing in the savings for, for a rainy day. Uh uh. Don't come ask me for $20 after tax season. Mm -mm. No, because the car ain't going to make it past 90 days. <laughs> Stay for the VA. Dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla.